Srila Prabhupada told us, one should hear the chanting from the lips of a pure devotee of the Lord. Otherwise, hearing chanting from those who are not pure devotees of the Lord will cause a poisonous effect. So he warned us right in the very beginning, one should hear such things as Krishna Ta, the holy name of Krishna, from a pure devotee of the Lord. And as we're hearing, this is a very high a position to be a devotee of the Lord. Bhakti, first we have to get through Sharanagati, and I think having heard about the six steps of Sharanagati, I think we can all understand where our devotion lays at this time. So, Vidanoti uh, Saritsitam, it will do completely uh, cleanse away all the inauspiciousness that is accumulated within our hearts over many millions of births. Once, uh, uh, one devotee who was reading Srila Gurudev every morning. Uh, I didn't get a chance to speak yesterday, so I wanted to give a little offering here for Srila Gurudev also. Uh, that uh, a devotee didn't appear at that morning uh, greeting of Srila Gurudev when he would come back from his walk. And he said, oh, where is she? Oh, Srila Gurudev, she's gone to chant her rounds. He said, go tell her that one moment of association with me will save her thousands of years of chanting around. <laughs> so, this is the effect of the association of a, a pure devotee. That uh, it accelerates that process of cleansing. Because on our own, uh, we, we don't have the qualification, the adhikar, to get out of this material existence. And another bound or conditioned soul cannot free or unbind another conditioned soul. It was going to require the association of a liberated soul to free us up from all the, uh, the dark well of material existence that we have enca got encaptured in. But it's, a, it's also going to require some effort on our part. It's not going to just be uh, all uh, grace in a sense. That will come later at a higher stage. But in the beginning, we must show some effort also to get the mercy of the pure devotee that uh, we are like in the well and he is throwing us a rope. So we have to hold on to the rope. He will pull us out, but we also have to hold on the rope. Once uh, uh, Srila Gurdjieff was written a letter that, oh please, this mountain that we have to cross over, all these anartas to get to the plain of bhakti, it seems so difficult to cross over. Srila Gurdjieff wrote back, I've gone to the top of that mountain many times, and I will gladly take, take you by your hand and guide you there. So do not worry. But you have to use your own two feet. You will have to walk. So, Shunbhatan Sakata Krishna Punya Shavana Kirtanam Hrityanta Stoa Bhadrani Vitanoti Sritsatam Hearing from the lips of the purity of body of the Lord will cause this cleansing action in the heart. I was, the biggest question I find when we go around preaching, everyone asks me two things, everywhere we go recently especially, that, uh, why do you accept Srila Narayan Maharaj as your Siksha Guru or guide? And secondly, uh, don't, how, how is this not disloyal to your Srila Prabhupada or our Srila Prabhupada in many cases? So, uh, this idea uh, comes from a, a lack of knowledge about the necessity of associating with a pure devotee of the Lord. The, even Srila Prabhupada wrote in Madhya Lila 2271, and here he's paraphrasing something by Srila Jiva Goswami, that if the Madhyama disciples of a Mahabhagata, Uttamadikari, don't continue to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the association of a liberated Uttam Adhikari devotee, they will make no more progress. Jiva Goswami has said the same thing, that after the Uttam Adhikari leaves, those disciples in the Madhyam and Kanishta stage who have not attained their liberated position under his guidance during his manifest presence, if they don't, immediate, he says, immediately take shelter of another pure devotee, they will make no more progress. So we see there's a, continu a continu continuity uh, between our acharyas, and therefore uh, Srila Gurdjieff is also stressing this point about association with pure devotees for rapid advancement in Krishna consciousness. 
which we should all be interested in. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Constantly harassed 
and controlled by the lower impulses of the modes of nature, stitam sati prasidati, and he becomes self-satisfied, prasidati, within the heart. Uh, so, what is the next one? Evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogataha bhagavad tattva vidyanam mukta sangasya jayate. So at this time, evam prasanna manasa, now the mind and the heart become very pleased, very situated in this stage of tranquility, now no longer agitated by the modes of nature. Evam prasanna manasa bhagavad bhakti yogataha, now he becomes firmly situated in bhakti to the Lord. Bhagavad tattva vidyanam, now he gains practical knowledge and realization of the Supreme Lord. It is no longer theoretical. Now he has Bhagavad Tattva Vigyanam and Mukta Sangasya Jayate. Now he becomes actually a liberated soul. No longer is he controlled by the modes of material nature. So this is all, this whole process is accomplished through the service, Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya, constantly hearing Srimad Bhagavatam and constantly serving the pure devotee Bhagavat, as we have been discussing. This is the essential ingredient for this whole process to be able to work. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know so many. Always reading Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and other Goswami Gita. But you should know, only reading me like this. Jaa Bhago, Suno. You really will not do. You cannot understand the deep meaning. You can read a oh, hundred and thousand times. Oh, you will not give so much effect. Only some effect. But when you will go, Anushunyatya. It has been told in this continuation of this issue. Hmm? That, oh, Anushunyatya. Yasham Vaishu Yamani Am Krishna Parama Purushi Bhakti Rupa Tite Pumsa Shokamo Vayapa Then Bhakti will come. <coughs> you are taking shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam. But how? You should read, you should uh, hear always those who are Sudhi. Rashi, Nigam Kalpatoru Bharitam. Go, take center and serve your Rashid Vaishnava. Those who know all kinds of truths, Krishna Tattva, Radha Tattva, Prem Tattva, Maya Tattva, Jiva Tattva, Guru Tattva, everything they do. All kinds of tattva. And they are <coughs> uh, realized souls. Or even not, but very sincere. Serving Guru serving Vaishnava, Bhagavat, Mahabhagavata. Like three kinds of Bhagavata. Oh. Bhagavad Kasai, Nidhut Kasai, Tapta Parsad Bhagavad Gita. First stage is Nara. Second, Sukhdev Kasai, Nidhut Kasai. And third, Liberated Nara, Nidhut Kasai, Parsad Bhagavad Gita. These are three Bhagavads. Anyone? Should be right now. Or in the guidance of now. Better we should take guidance of Siddhartha Purusha. Everything will come. And here Bhagavat them, there, Chaitanya Chaitanya, all the books of Purusha. More superior than Vedas, Brahma Sutra, and others. Very quickly you can achieve for Bhagavat. <coughs> So don't try to read. You can read Srimad Bhagavatam. You can read Chaitanya Chaitanya, other books. But try to hear in 
an association of any high class of this. And it will oh, very affect otherwise not. Even <coughs> that Shraddha has come, that I told. This Shraddha or Bhakti, the beginning of Bhakti type, in this stage of Shraddha, Bhakti is two kinds, Nashtiri or Nashtiri. Where there is Nishtha, that he expressed all this. And where there is no steadiness. steadiness. I think it would be better that we should continue to explain yet tomorrow in class. Because it becomes so much late for me and it disturbs my other. So please excuse me for this. If I was okay, oh, or till then, I will continue with you. But I can. But I think at a request to these speakers, Shamrani, Padmanam Maharaj, Arand Maharaj, and others, a special request that they should come in time. As I come, oh, five minutes, ten minutes, in flow time, I always did keep very punctual. Control and punctual time. If you are not punctual, you cannot walk in morning. Then how you can be healthy? Why then? To be punctual first. I tried that never, in a special reason with me, but always in my whole life I am trying to try to be punctual. Not one minute. So, I request all these people, they should establish this thing and they should come in time. Because so many devotees, and not one only one, oh, I think that not less than 400 devotees, we will wait for you. So, you should come in time and make process. Go, Brahma. When you have arranged drama play? Last one day. Only one drama. One tomorrow. 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 Very good. So you should. I want that you should do Rajinida and Mahaprabhu. That all should beat and all should know. And all should be inspired. This is all. This is all. Hare Krishna. Some devotee has requested for initiation. So initiation is tomorrow at Sep at Jalakar Prabhu's house. He has to arrive, he has to be present there between 745 to 8 a.m. We shall start initiation 8 a.m. So who has requested they must be we have to set that here. So initiation tomorrow between 7.45 to 8 a.m. And fire sacrifice will take place here uh, fourth, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. 4th February, 10 a.m. And today some devotee has taken in here. Gurudev Mahasi will... Please stand up. Oh, oh Chandrika Devi. Oh. Chandrika Mahasi. Chandrika, you know? Muni Chandra. His light very sweet and smooth light, but that moon has no light itself, only from Radhika. So Chandrika Dasi is a Radha Dasi. Bhakti Siddhanta. Hari 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 Mukunda Madhava Govinda Bol Mala Bol Hari Bol Hari 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 Bol Mukunda Madhava Govinda Bol Tandere Hari Bol Hari Bol Mamiro Ya Tandere Hari Hari Oh, 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 oh,
Chicago, Moloi.